talk about his wife, Melania? Hmm? She was missing. She didn't appear alongside him when he gave his news conference from his Florida residence. And there are a lot of people wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any sympathy for her at all? Because I imagine um, as a married woman and knowing that her husband has allegedly had an affair, right. it, it must not be easy. I mean, anything I say is going to be speculation, so I hesitate. I'm not, you know, I would assume that she doesn't need me or anyone else to speak for her. Perhaps her not speaking is her speaking. There's a, you know, silence speaks volumes, if you will. But um, if she's in sort of a situation that, is how it appears, then, then yeah, I, I, you know, I feel bad for her. She's a mother. Her, I would assume that just like me as a mother, her main priority is her child. Um, the other side of that, we all have to remember, we don't know what is in their private life. We don't know what, what goes on behind the doors. We don't know what kind of arrangement they had. You know what I mean? Like, I know some freaky people. We don't, <laughs> we don't know. Um, and we can sit here and... and talk about it all day long but until she feels you know the need to speak for herself then we just won't know do you have a message for it all call me if you need me to testify your divorce proceedings hey ladies and gentlemen carmine sabia here for explain america you just watched the video i gotta say the first thing that jumps to my mind honestly and and, and this may be wrong the first thing that jumps to my mind when i watch that video is wow she's a mother uh, that to me is is mind blowing because I can't imagine the conversation that one would have to have with one's kids if that was one's line of work, uh, and now especially with all the publicity, and you got to explain why mommy is famous. That's got to be a tough conversation, um, and so I feel for her uh, if that's the case. Maybe it's not a tough conversation for her. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and speculate like she was speculating about Melania Trump because that's what we do now. We just speculate, right? Um, I think, you know, she started off that interview kind of in a classy way, I think, saying the right things. And then to end it with, you know, call me if you need me to testify at your divorce was, I think, cruel and unnecessary. And this whole process against President Donald Trump has been cruel and unnecessary. From a district attorney who has obvious political ambitions, who wants to make a name for himself, to a judge who has donated to the Biden campaign, whose daughter worked for the Biden-Harris campaign, to a porn star who is now a mainstream celebrity commanding top dollar. Everybody has something to gain off of getting Trump that's involved in this case. So, you know, I take an interview like that with a grain of salt, take it from the source. I think it was a cruel thing to say, and I think she should be ashamed of herself, and I think she should apologize. Because even if everything she said is true, and I'm I'm not saying that it is, I don't know. We, nobody knows what goes on behind closed doors. But if everything she's saying is true, she was a willing participant she slept with somebody else's husband after that man's wife gave birth to their baby. So, you know, she's not a hero in my eyes. She's not somebody who did the right thing in my eyes. Not that I can sit and cast stones or cast judgment on anyone. But to portray her as some kind of hero like the left has been doing, I think smacks of hypocrisy. So, that's what we have here. That's the modern left in America. You guys know it. They will make this woman into a multi-millionaire superhero. So it has definitely benefited her. But I think the truth always comes out when you let people talk for themselves about the kind of person they are. With that, I want to thank you guys very much for watching us here today at Explain America. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.